Hello and welcome to Santiago de Chile, our last destination on our global journey in 2022. Find out how the modern work tour went here in Santiago and I promise you will be surprised. As always, we arrived by bus from the Argentinian wine region Mendoza through the beautiful Andes. Santiago de Chile is in the middle of the vertically longest country in the world, Chile. For all the remote work with our clients back home in Europe, we really needed a good Airbnb this time and we got one. The Airbnb comes with a small kitchen, but we can handle that. We have a really nice table to work together with our clients. With an extra office room, which was incredible. For all the moments we had both coaching and training sessions. We had two bathrooms, his and hers, while I got the beautiful one, for sure. And of course, the big highlight of the Airbnb, the bedroom with an amazing view over the Andes, the city and the biggest building in LATAM, the Grand Torre. It was sweet dreams, darling, right? Right. For relaxation and deep reflection thoughts, we have our sofa and of course, our most beloved place next to our bedroom is the balcony with this amazing view. Take a look! As we already mentioned, we worked a lot here these days. I think we actually never have been busier in a December. What a month and what a busy time. But this gives us the chance to relax in the next weeks. And we will go on a really awesome camper road trip through Patagonia and we are looking so much forward to it. And enjoy some well-deserved free time. Right, Nia? Yes. Bam. Yes. But now let's talk business here. How did it go? Yes. We really had a first. Yes. We just had one single meeting in Santiago de Chile. This never happened before and we have to say we are a little bit disappointed because we had high hopes and we heard a lot of interesting stories about businesses here in Santiago de Chile. We researched and contact a lot of companies, but we didn't get any response. Or they responded vaguely, but then it faded out. So do you have any idea why this happened? Please let us know in the comments. Maybe the upcoming holidays are a reason. And we hope we are going to have more inspiring sessions in Valparaiso. That's true. And we have a but, because we had this one meeting and this was a really great one. We went to Good Company, an award-winning consultancy company. There we had an interesting talk with the Director of Operation and Sustainability, Felipe. He told us that in Chile, the working world is changing as well. Slowly, but, but steady. steady. And for the better. Most insightful in the conversation was Philippe's approach on sustainability as an integral part of business. For him, it is not an add-on. It is a true business driver. And their approaches have four different layers. First, a transcendent purpose. Second, the bigger picture and the long-term strategy. Third, stakeholders matter and there are various ones to consider. And fourth, be accountable for what you do as a business. This means sustainability is a way of doing business and should be seen as an opportunity for growing your business. That was super interesting for us because all around the world, and we are mentioned that in our book, The Modern Work Tour, sustainability is one part of our nine modern work principles. So we couldn't agree more with Felipe. Thanks for the meeting. Santiago de Chile is an interesting city. 
We lived in the middle class district near Sanhattan. It's Santiago and Manhattan. Sanhattan, of course! You have plenty to explore here. We loved going up the tiny hill of Santa Lucia in the early morning where Santiago de Chile actually was founded. The view from up there is really amazing. And we went there before it got too hot. True. <laughs> the central plaza de armas was not our favorite, mm. but the cathedral is quite nice and free of charge. Of course, we checked out the big Mercado Centrale with all the fishes and all the food. My favorite moment was the Museo de Artes Visuales. What a nice house and interesting installation and paintings. Do you remember the spooky funny thing there? That was great. <laughs> the food we ate in Santiago was good, but also more pricey than we thought. I would say German prices. I agree. If you want to get inspired by local craftsmanship and artists, go to the Little Italy, Barrio Italio. Here you can find everything the heart desires, especially during holiday season. A highlight of ours was also visiting the unique Baha'i Temple, a contemporary architectural landmark with a garden that is open to the public and you can have a great view on Santiago de Chile. Now the time in Santiago de Chile comes to an end. And it feels good to continue our journey. Our next trip will be with a four-wheeler car and we will go into Patagonia. We are super excited about that. And for New Year's Eve, we have a special Airbnb somewhere in nowhere with nobody else around. So I think it's time to recharge our batteries. Mm. All the big cities and we have been to really big cities were quite interesting, but also it's a lot of stress, noise, etc. So let's dive into nature. I agree with you, Niels. The most busiest and most successful year of our life ends and we need the break for sure. So stay tuned. Please leave us a comment if you like the video and you will get plenty of more videos next year. Buenos dias and bye bye. bye. Ooh. 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 <laughs> okay.